It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. And there's my buddy, Tom Griswold. Thank you, Chick. You're not going to mention Ace's big uh, <laughs> nose thing? No, because no I, one knows unless you tell them. He's kind of like Beetlejuice. If you don't it's mention radio, him, radio, remember? He doesn't really arrive, you know, and now you're... Ask him. Go ahead. Talk right. Dry air in here. He's got the nosebleed. That's right. Yeah, yeah, no. Dry air at home. And we, I learned something last year on this show that I, that I was not aware of, which is that uh, a good thing to do when you have a nosebleed and with respect to stopping the flow is to use a tampon. If your nose hole's big enough, I guess. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't Christy, think it's we necessary are, at all, but... We all realize, Christy, that <laughs> you both your, you, your a, tongue and your nose are teeny tiny. I couldn't get a tampon up my nose for nothing. <laughs> Boy, we can use that. We can edit that thing. <laughs> don't they make Ultra Slims or something? <laughs> oh, you're right. They do. I forgot. Yeah, but not yeah. the size of a pixie stick. Because <laughs> every time you talk about that, I think about it. I'm like, I could not. And if, if, uh, Pat, you realize I, you're not normal size, right? <laughs> you know that. You're fun size, Christy. I guess. Now, Pat, didn't you have a tribute to the, the bloody nose of Ace Cosby? And, uh... I do. <laughs> <laughs> Ace got his voice. Impressive indeed. He got the bass, mixes the radio feed. <laughs> he spent his life on the radio. Nobody hit him, but he got a bloody nose. <laughs> Maybe he picks it at night too often. <laughs> or he blows too hard or took a nasty fall. Only Cosby bleeds. <laughs> Only Cosby bleeds. He borrowed a tampon from Christy Lee's daughter. <laughs> Don't really borrow those. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need that back. <laughs> What's the protocol on that with the ladies? What do you mean? You're out. Uh, you do just you... ask, do you have a tampon? Oh, my gosh, yeah. That oh, yeah, it happens all the time. There's yeah. no code? No. Well, what if you use pads and she uses ponds? Well, then you've got a problem. You're going to have to use a pad if that if you're or in that pond. situation. Yeah. Pond's good for you. Those shot glass things. What are those called? <laughs> what do you like? The there? What do you like Ooh, there? Menstrual I've cup? Always, I've always been, I have, I had a, an affection for the word crammer. You like that? Crammer? Yeah. You got any crammers? Sure, sure. You know. I doubt if that's ever been used uh, by a oh, woman. Yeah, uh, no matter how butch. Oh, I okay. So, pod. No, did they make that movie about it? Crammer versus crammer? <laughs> I remember that, Chick. <laughs> but don't, pods don't and ponds. Okay. Uh, and if you forgot anything at home, well, we here at the front desk have racers and toothpaste. That's right. And crammers. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> and everyone needs a tampon at some point in their life, and they're in a situation. I don't. Happened to me? Well, I fear a woman, Pat, for God's sake. Ace has one in his pocket for his nose now, the weirdo. Yeah, one of my best moments in life was my hero growing up, my... Uh, athletic hero was Nadia Comaneci. We were in a bathroom together. She, she, she had said, periods? Yes, she did. Uh, she goes, do you have a tampon by chance? Really? <laughs> I was so excited I that she spoke I bet she had a lower number. I mean, Are you I, serious? I yeah. Exactly, yeah. There was a, there's no doubt she low had a lower. flow maybe every four months. Yeah. Like no, she had a kid, you Those gymnasts head. never. That is this very this is the equivalent of, of your, 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 your <laughs> someone wants to bum a cigarette from you and you know, Eric Clapton. Yeah, exactly. In 1980. That's exactly right. It's Eric Clapton. She was... This was post career. I mean, she wasn't still a gymnast. She was just, you know, I see. But still. Can I have a damn bun? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, wow. No. Well, she was from the Eastern Bloc. Am I right on that? Hey, she and I are Twitter oh, friends. Christy, Stop you it. need Stop crammer? Uh, <laughs> I have extra crammer for you. Crammer. I love America. Now, what if you both, there's only one and you both need it. Do you, can you split it in half like gum? No. Oh. Yeah, can you do that? Can no, you no, no, you, you, you cut it. <laughs> you don't cut it lengthwise. Wait a minute. Like, a, have to like cut a French fry. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no. You stubby it. There. <laughs> you know, you stubby. hear these. And you got you to gotta lasso these. Yeah, they do open up inside. You hear these stories they about what? these frugal people who use, uh, they, they peel the 
toilet paper apart and use each ply? Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. Do you think there's somebody who cuts their tampons in half and no. uses uh, oh, half of the time? I bet they do. Or maybe they rewash them or something? Oh, well, yeah. you can get the cup if you're going to do that. You sure. don't need tampons. Oh, I don't know how to do the cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you got to be Men's walking around like John Wayne the whole time, <laughs> just trying not to spill it. <laughs> now, how would you? What would you say if you were walking around with a... Uh, hey, Bart. I can't. I can't I can't that, that, yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, partner. <laughs> My uterine wall is sliced <laughs> off. And I... I do like the name Diva Cup, though. It sounds like they're doing an all-star season of RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, yeah, you're the right. Diva Cup, they're all back. I agree. Feel... All the girls. So I blame you for this topic. I'm feeling an inner. Man, I love that RuPaul show. It's very entertaining. The ladies on there have some fun. I'll tell you what. Yeah, they do. They Woo. have some fun. Never seen it. When you say well, ladies, oh. I'm not surprised that you haven't seen. It, okay. To be quite honest, uh, let's see now. Where were we? Oh, um, that is a great question. I want to remind you that uh, <laughs> we do have our uh, Bob and Tom uh, special <laughs> pigskin pick'em contest. We're now opening up week 13. You could win a big green egg mini max. Very cool. So just uh, we'll be talking NFL with Kostaki Economopoulos coming up. And and ladies, listen uh, uh, out there. We need you, the next time that you uh, are asking your uh, man to go to the store to pick you up some tampons, please say, hey, will you grab me a bag of crammers? <laughs> and we want to hear what his response was. Okay, Ace, your nose has got to not be bleeding anymore. I thought it was done, but... You no. switched it up. Once is that again, the, Ace wait a minute, is, is that the tampon? Tampon. Yeah. Did you oh. take the tampon out of the wrapper? Well, yes, Tom. You know what they say? You can, you can take the tampon out of the wrapper, yeah. but you can't take the wrapper no. out of the tampon. You have to take the tampon out you of know, the wrapper. I would imagine that if you left the wrapper on the tampon, it would severely retard the absorbency of it the tampon. It must, yes. You've got yeah. the wrapper, you've got the plastic dispenser. Yeah, yeah there are plastic not, ones. Ace knows his way around. Really here's what I'm going to say. I here's, prefer here's, the plastic here's, dispenser. Here's what I'm going to say. Put your glasses on. Here's what I'm going to say. I think I think Ace likes having a tampon in his nose. Yeah, maybe he does. Bleeding or not. I should have got to buy some more today. Listen to that. Yeah, and he, you know what? He never buys anything. <laughs> Ace, I, I believe there are free ones in the back. Yeah, there are. Oh, no, I took some of my friends this morning. So. Oh. Oh, I see. You got to replace them. Yeah. What? Um, you can go get free ones in the back. I think that's one of the few perks of this company. Well, it's cheap brand loyal, so. Oh, she's uh, brand loyal. Oh, you can't replace hers with that. I see the right. stuff yeah. here. But from now on, you can just use the ones here. Those here. So the one in your nose is from your girlfriend? Yes. Well, where do you think he got it? Well, I, th I figured he went onto the back. And and that's what I thought, there. too. I thought, Why yeah. wouldn't he? Ace is known for being very frugal. I figured he'd bleed all over his shirt rather than have uh. to buy a tampon. <laughs> He's got to buy a new shirt. Well, his girlfriend yeah. bought the tampon. He didn't. Is there anything it? else we could talk about? Yeah. Okay, sorry. What are anything? we doing? Okay, sorry. Companies should not be providing tampons for their female workers. <laughs> Stop, dude. Uh, no, no, I've got things to say here. <laughs> and now, Josh Arnold angers America. I mean, they're not paying for my... What? Condoms? Uh, yes, what? that's right. Okay. Well, no, and they shouldn't. Condoms are 100% the female responsibility. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Birth control is uh, totally on the woman. Oh, it's is it really? Okay. Well, what are How they not paying for that is a strictly a male? That's exactly what we need to figure out, don't we? If you, if, if, if we're buying your... Uh, Crammers. What? Yes. <laughs> what should they be buying of ours? Uh, cigarettes and lottery tickets. That'd be cool, right? <laughs> I think uh, Willie's on to something. Yeah. <laughs> Get the company in Can on that? Can you imagine? That's right. You know that there is there are those guys that make that argument. I, well, need, them. <laughs> I need them to work. <laughs> they're spending money on their tampons. <laughs> I, think I, I want my cigarettes for free. <laughs> I, I, I like the lottery ticket idea. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, these are for only for men. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Unless you're unless you're post. Oh, you, know. you guys are really <laughs> skating on thin ice. Oh, we're sure. being satirical, of course. Oh, of course. oh, that's you are. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There he is. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm with you, Tom. I couldn't wait to get to the meeting. Uh, this is <laughs> I'm trying to find a picture of this lady beating the guy with her prosthetic leg. Oh, I could send that to you. Boy, oh boy. Oh my God. Do you have it? Yeah. Did you, you say one time, Tom, that you went to Disney World and you, I forgot what you yeah. lost. But you no, lost absolutely. Yeah. I went to the um, the Lost and Found at Disney World in Orlando. And I don't know if, if it's still in the same place, but you know that gigantic parking lot, then you have to walk to the place and take the boat across or the train around. Oh, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, uh, at least the, when this happened. Transportation Center is what that's called. Whatever it's called. <laughs> that's where the Lost right. and Found is. It's not right there in the park. I went to the Lost and Found um 
I was looking for a pair of glasses that had been lost by someone in our party. And um, it's a party. I said uh, they were lost. When were they lost? I said this morning, and the the guy came back with a bag of I don't know fifty pairs of glasses. I bet right yeah. away. And then I just was he dressed like Goofy? <laughs> no. He Tell me he's dressed like Goofy. Romeo the George. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't know why they put me George lost in I, I said, <laughs> this is so unfortunate. What's the most unusual stuff you get? You get here, and he goes, "We get a lot of toupees <laughs> <laughs> and dentures and." Every once in a while, we will get a prosthetic limb. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And you'd think you'd notice that, but mm. I remember I told the story on the air, and someone said, yeah, I know what happens is people, they get into a wheelchair, and they forget, and they're not up and down. And oh, gotcha. So they're not, like, flying off a roller coaster. Oh, God knows where they get them, but, uh, yeah. And they, I guess they get a lot of stuff at the bottom of Space Mountain. Mm. A lot of toupees, though. Mm. Isn't that funny? But there were plenty of glasses and hats. And Why, why haven't you gone the toupee route? <laughs> Why you haven't know, we done that on the no, air? Beca because you, uh, you, you are surrounded by. Uh, let's face it. Can we? Can we speak plainly? Go ahead. <laughs> you're you're surrounded by sycophants and yes men. We all know it. <laughs> sure. And uh, you know you pay most of the people you surround yourself with. Sure. And, uh, That's the only yeah, reference. So if you were to show up one day with a big beautiful toupee, oh. <laughs> all right, we could have a week of you trying a different one each day. I thought we yeah. talked about this before. Yeah, I think we have. I don't I, know why yes. we've never done why it. Why haven't we done? What you this? should have done is after the heart surgery, you should have come back and said there was this crazy complication, and now I have a pompadour. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Medication. That Gorgeous head of hair. <laughs> yes. That would have worked. You know, I'm taking something right now, and, and my we can't figure it out. Where it's making my hair thicker. Huh? Not my really? stylist told my stylist. Yes. Mm, nice. Told me a couple weeks ago. Okay, what's going Is on? It your hair. Oxidil. Your hair is thicker. I don't know. I'm like on nine blood pressures or whatever. So oh, okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, I think a spider bit me. But other than that, I can't <laughs> think of how cool it would be. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Do you I'm shoot webs out of your hands yet? I, I'm not yet. That would be cool. Would now, have you experienced that thing where you someone you know? I yes. can remember I was at a, I was at a, the, a county fair. <laughs> I said nothing to this day. I can remember that I walked. And I, oh, there's he walked up to me and I and I realized immediately he had on. Suddenly he looked like Jeff Beck. <laughs> oh man, yes, yeah, this hair helmet. Yeah. You have every right to say something. And you know, but no, I didn't. I never did. And yeah, over the course of time, then there's another friend of mine that uh, wears a. I mean, it's just like a basketball size wig. It's really boy. And I mean, and you never say anything. Everyone kind of knows. Well, My grandma knocked a person's wig off once uh, on bumper cars. <laughs> what? Is that right? Yeah, she rammed this guy <laughs> oh, God, that's so great. with bumper cars, and his grandma wig fell it. off. And grandma, my grandma like... screamed at the top of their lungs because she thought she decapitated <laughs> the man. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, uh, the, this Christmas tree uh, abomination in Asbury Park, New Jersey, that's the home of Bruce Springsteen, of course. Yeah, it is. That's where Bruce grew up. And I, I thought it would be appropriate for Pat mm -hmm. to uh, do a little 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 boss for you. Oh. Well, you know, any Springsteen song, all you need is a girl, a car, job, you hate town, you want to leave. Let's go with uh, Christy, where we already know her name. What car did you drive in today? <laughs> What kind of car is it? Just it's a, a red car. A red car. It's compact. a red car. A red, kind of a red car. What's the license plate? <laughs> <laughs> what is your credit card number? Uh, for the song? It's a Mercedes. And I'm guessing 1% uh, wow. of our audience can afford it, but go ahead. Right. Oh. We have Christy with a Mercedes. That thing's expensive? I don't know. I don't want to know. Mercedes like an escort. What, what, is it a Benz? <laughs> Yes. Okay, Mercedes Benz, and we know that you're <laughs> an air personality. We'll go with that. Okay. okay. And where are you from originally? I'm from Indiana. Uh, the city? Um, right on your license, right before the state, it'll this give you This is a really specific city. party trip, Yeah, Pat. no joke. Indianapolis? Okay. All right, how about that? That's where you're from originally? Yes. Right. Born right, and raised. And now Tom introduced Bruce Springsteen, and uh, he'll uh, he'll be on your radio show for you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's an incredible honor. The man is an author. He's a songwriter. <laughs> a blowhard. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> an activist. <laughs> He's for the working man. Uh, great singer. Mm -hmm. so Tunnel of Love. Great album. Yeah. Born in the U.S. Uh, it's it's uh, Bruce Springsteen, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing this morning? Hey, boss. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing hey. fine. Hey, boss. You even embarrass us in front of the fake Bruce. Hey, that's all right. That's, it's Christmas time. That's all right. I'll give you that. You know, I was coming here today, and I got to thinking. Did you? About this girl I knew a long time ago. I'm a married man now. Shouldn't be having those thoughts. <laughs> but sometimes an old flame still burns within your heart. Now look out. There she is in the other room. Christy Lee, is that you? Hey, hey how's it going, Bruce? It's going good. Christy and I used to go out years ago. Christy, are you married now? No. You got a boyfriend? 
Yes. My good. I wrote a song about you. Hope this doesn't bother him too much. After you, you dumped me many years ago, I wrote a song. Didn't have a chance to put it out on the CD. Or, uh-huh. I'm going to do it for you now. It's called Christy Lee. Oh. Oh, Christy Lee. Oh, you broke my heart. Oh, I took out love. Oh, you know you tore it apart. But I remember you broken heart. Oh, I tried to mend in the back seat of your red Mercedes Benz. Oh, oh, Christy Lee. Oh, yeah. oh. Christy Lee. But I remember that day you set me free. You said your dream was to become an air personality. Whoa. Oh. Christine Lee. <laughs> when you left me, you said you had your fill. You were going to go back to a town outside of Indianapolis called Zionsville. And I went up, went on back to Jersey. Oh, about Christine Lee. <laughs> Bruce. I don't remember Bruce. any mention of Zion's Bruce. Thank, Bruce. Thank you, boss. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we have a special guest who's oh, obviously so not Jewish. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's got a Christmas tree behind him. Yeah. All his, well, well, he's Greek. We kind of knew. All Greeks are Jewish, I thought. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, that's It's Kostaki Economopoulos, <laughs> comedian. Sorry. Both can be Orthodox. <laughs> yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. Very true. You know what? You ever considered uh, growing one of those Orthodox priest beards that the Greek guys have? They've got ZZ Top beards. <laughs> I bet those no. guys hated it when ZZ Top grew them. All of a sudden, they look, they look, they look a little bit less serious. <laughs> you, you can imagine if you're a Greek Orthodox priest, you're walking through the airport, some guy goes, are you Billy Gibbons? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Say, every, say anything you want about the Orthodox Greeks. I like the unorthodox Greeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, wearing rubber like chickens on their heads. breakers. unorthodox. <laughs> <laughs> they put vodka on their shoes. Oh, yeah. 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 They're nuts. Unorthodox Greeks. Yeah. I like that. How come we never stumbled on that joke before? I yeah. Like uh, Kostaki Economopoulos is our NFL correspondent. and uh, Looks like your tree's a little bare there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we just got it last night. Tomorrow's oh. the decoration day, so we're, we're just... It, it smells good, now. though. It's nice. I've got 4,000 extra lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Kostaki. Thanks I've for been, bringing I've, that I've up. I've been auditioning lights. Let's just move on. As you, did, might, did you, imagine, gift? As you might imagine, uh, Kostaki, Tom can't find the right shade of white light. <laughs> that's a real thing. That's a real yep. thing that's happening in I, all... All of our lives right now. I can't imagine that. Yeah. And uh, it yeah. does surprise me. Hey, did bit. your gift arrive? Oh, no. It's just, oh, so okay. you can't mail him any lights because you can't get gifts there. <laughs> what? Is someone stealing all the stuff off your porch? No, we get stuff all the time. I, I, I think Why don't user you error. think you, you're you the weak link in this chain? You realize. That's that's twice package. That's See where twice. it is. I ordered another one. Okay. Should have ordered it, uh, had it sent here, because Bill, uh, Billy. Billy. <laughs> Willie can take You know what? You're Billy from now on. <laughs> Billy? Yeah. I'll you take it. We're right? together. Yeah. I got no problems with it. Billy <laughs> could have taken it to Vincennes, Indiana with you. Yes. When you guys have a show exactly. together. December 11th. I'll totally do that. Actually, you know what? No, let's... Make this even easier. What if I just ship it to him with my account? I guarantee you messed this up. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll check it while we talk. I, I think Bill's you. right. Yeah. You know what? You know what? All the people who contribute to our show, they dream of you saying something like, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Well, the stock he's doing is report. Don't do that. Hey, at least this, this might be the only time because Stocky can get his full report out. Yeah. If Tom is busy with something else. That's the closer. Go oh. ahead. Kostaki uh, is the Go proprietor. Ahead of something called All Pro Lines, where pro football and pro comedians collide. Uh, but first, this Rodney Carrington song. <laughs> Pat, so actually, actually, I was going to have Pat do a little something. Ah, uh, you're a coming up, host. coming up from the Oxford Gold Performance Room. We are going to have a new, another uh, gold oldie from Pat. But right now, Kostaki, your thoughts on? Uh, you, I suppose you're going to congratulate Chick McGee here. Yeah, that was a great game. Kudos, man. That, that was a pretty good was game. Nice yeah, see. pretty good game last night. I loved it. Just Heineke's enough uh, to watch. Just enough mistakes to not forget they're the Washington football team. <laughs> yeah, but, well. but, uh, but they come out on top. And how about that Heineken right. kid, huh? He's uh, he's magic. He's lightning in a bottle. He's bomb. easy to root for, man. It's yeah. a, it's a cool story. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 
Uh, we got to start with Thanksgiving, though. That's when the football week started this week. Uh, I saw this headline, Brady strays from diet on Thanksgiving. Like, wouldn't any normal meal seem like Thanksgiving to Tom Brady? Mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah. <laughs> like a lean cuisine, the microwave. I've never been more alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving, of course, that day we spend time with family and we give thanks to baby Jesus that we're not Lions fans. Uh, <laughs> that team. Oh, my goodness. My wife asked me if I was watching football on Thursday. I said, no, I'm watching Bears-Lions. Uh, <laughs> that, yeah. that game was such a turkey. It got a pardon from the press. President, am I right? Everybody? <laughs> Bada boom. <laughs> Even the coin toss was a mess. The Lions won, deferred. Then the Bears tried to defer it back to them. Like, no, please, you go three and out. No, no, I no. insist you go three and out. <laughs> so Bears coach Matt Nagy keeps his job, and Detroit has 10 losses. Somehow the Bears and Lions both lost. It's, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Nagy has a worse chance of staying in Chicago than a vegan restaurant. <laughs> uh, Kid Rock now has a new song, so the Lions aren't the most embarrassing thing out of Detroit. Uh, yeah. That's good. That's <laughs> good news. <I'm> <laughs> uh, the big story to me, though, on the weekend: Bengals forty-one, Steelers ten. Mm -hmm. Did did the Steelers watch Tiger King instead of Bengals game film or something? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What Tiger happened, King. Steelers? I haven't seen this many sad guys in black and yellow since the band Striper broke up. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.